Hey guys, so Merry Christmas to everybody and a very joyous new year and today we're going to do number nine in numerology and like uh, all the previous videos I'm going to do the karmic number and the life path number of number nine. Karmic number is pretty much the day you were born. So if you're born on 19th, 18th or 27th of any month you are a nine karmic number and if your birthday when you add all the numbers up of your entire birthday and if that comes to nine then your nine life path unless you have you run into numbers like 11 22 33 44 after you adding them up then you don't refuse that those are the master numbers which we'll do later so today we're going to do these, uh, this number 9. And 9 is controlled by Mars. Now the Mars that in astrology signifies anger and fighting ability and you know that uh, tough soldier and the general. However, in numerology, number 9 represents caring for humanity. That's who 9 is. 9 is a person who is very compassionate about people who's very compassionate about bringing peace to this world who is uh, very much in tune with people's emotions and this is number nine ruled by mars and this is why it's important for you to know about numerology and astrology that the dynamics and the personality changes a little bit for planets in astrology and numerology how one planet acts the other way in astrology but in numerology you know he still has those quality, but it kind of changes it a bit. So nine is all about, you know, taking care of people like somebody like Angelina Jolie, you know, somebody like Princess Diana, somebody like Mother Teresa, who's just out there wanting to give all the love and care to the world. And this is why number nine makes some of the best hostess. They have the biggest heart. So they, you know, um, they make the best nurses, best doctors, because nine is also related to the medical field because Mars represents the medical field because Mars is about digging into things because it rules the eighth sign of Scorpio, which is about digging deep. So surgeons who dig deep into the body, you know, they're, that's medical field. So they make the best nurses, best doctors, um, best psychologists, uh, but also hotel managers because hotel is about hospitality. So, you know, these are the basic careers for um, number nine. And it's all, and definitely like, you know, charity work, um, nonprofit work. And also, uh, nine people have a very strong will. Okay. Because it's ruled by Mars, they're able to start a task and they finish it no matter what. They have the fighting ability to go to take their project all the way through. Okay, but there's one other side of nine that will surprise you that these guys also make the best actors. They make the best entertainers. They make uh, the best um, kind of like your action hero. So remember, three, six, and nine in numerology are compatible with each other and they signify similar things. Like two, four, and eight signifies businesses. Okay, one, five, and seven it signifies individualism. 3, 6, and 9 signifies other people, taking care of other people, socializing with other people, entertaining other people. So 9, even though it's serious when it comes to taking care of people and having that Mars um, personality within them, they also have the artistic side to them that they usually bring it on in front of the camera. So, you know, don't be surprised if a 9 person also is an actor. However, you got to realize that astrology holds far more significance than numerology because there's a lot more details in astrology that numerology sometimes, you know, is limited to. So it's very important because a nine might be a lawyer, you know, where you might think, oh, he must be an actor. But no, nine, I mean, any number can be anything. It's just these majority of the people, you know, going through these tests by many, many people for thousands of years, majority of the people signifies these type of professions. So compatibility wise, um, nine gets along with three, six and nine. And nine gets along with one. And not just because one is ruled by sun and uh, 
nine is ruled by Mars and they're friends, that's a part of it. But one and nine make a great team because one need likes to order, like, hey, I need to get this done. Nine is a person that says, okay, you want to get this done? I'll get this done. That's, that's nine. Nine doesn't really care about being in a leading position. They just want to complete a task and they want everybody to be happy. See, they're, the, they're kind of like the enlightened ones in a way. They're just like, you know what? All this leadership and being CEO and the king doesn't mean anything because all you need is love. And this is why nine, you know, they give most of the love. Now, let's talk about remedies in numerology which is about name change, name change vibration. So if your life pattern and your karmic number is not matching, then people say and numerologists say that you can change the letters in your name to bring that vibration, balance that vibration. You know, so if your name is uh, Michael, M-I-C-H-A-E-L, numerologists say, hey, you should do M-I-C-H-A-E-E-L. Okay, put double E in it to bring in that vibration. However, changing that name doesn't really help most of the time because you're missing the most important ingredient about the remedy which let me tell you so what happens with the changing the name is that if you change your name let's say at the age of 40 okay michael from one e to double e okay and you change it and you don't see any effects the reason for that is because you have 40 years of that old vibration built up within you that everywhere you put in your name, every application you filled out in your life regarding job, regarding school, you have that old vibration going all around you in the universe. So how is it that you just changing your name in the court one day will bring that new vibration to the old one? No, there's a method to it, okay? You have to write your name for certain times, of, uh, uh, certain times a day, for certain days with a certain color of ink. And only then, you see the effects of these things. Only then you can see the vibration of your name change having some profound effect on you, where you will say, okay, my name change wasn't a waste. Where most people think, okay, I changed my name, nothing happened. Well, that's the reason why. You didn't follow the right uh, remedial procedures. And not too many people know about this. There are people who know about this remedy. That's how I found out. But not too many numerologists know about it. They just say, okay, change your name and that's it. You know you will prosper. But no, you have to go through this procedure. This is why I invite you to look at my website below. And uh, it's regarding astrology and it's regarding numerology. And this, will, this website will open your eyes about what astrology is, what astrology was meant to be, and what astrology has become. What it, and it shouldn't be that. Okay, so this, and, and it's gonna reveal a lot of more secrets about astrology than you never, that you ever knew, okay? So check it out and definitely subscribe because I'm going to be doing a lot more of these videos in a more creative form. So I'm probably going to be in one of the most unique way of people who will bring you astrology in the most unique way, okay, which I cannot reveal right now. It's all in works, but you will see. So definitely subscribe. It's just going to get better, better and better. All right. Thank you, guys.